All right, today we're going to be talking about finding the area of a parallelogram, triangles, and trapezoids. So parallelograms, triangles, and trapezoids. So let's start with the first one, parallelograms. Parallelograms are pro probably the easiest because all we're doing is multiplying base times height. Now, base here is either the top or the bottom, usually, and the height is the distance between those two bases. Now, in a parallelogram, those two bases should be exactly the same. So if the top is 10, the bottom should be 10 also. And the height is the distance between those two. And notice, because it's slanted, the height is not this side. Whatever this side is, is information we do not need to know. So let's go ahead and try a problem. So here we have a base of 3 and the height of 3 also. Really kind of easy start for us. So base is 3, the height is 3. So we're just doing base times height, or in this case, 3 times 3 which would give us 9, and of course we want to label it 9 square meters. Moving on to another, we can even have uh, decimals or fractions. 4.3 across the base, and then this distance between the two bases is 6.2, called the height. If we want to estimate it, we should get a value around 24. 4 times 6 is 24. Just to make sure that we kind of check and make sure we're doing it right. So the base is actually 4.3 and the height is 6.2. And we're just going to end up multiplying those and we get 26.66. Pretty close to our estimate, obviously a little bit off, uh, but good enough. And square inches, is our answer reasonable? Of course it is. All right, what about a triangle? A triangle adds one extra step. Because the triangle is not all the, way, all the way filled in, there's parts missing up here, it's actually half of it is gone. So as we're still doing base times height, but we're multiplying by a half, or better off, we're dividing by two. If we divide by two uh, from that value, we, we cut it in half, and that gets rid of this extra stuff that's not missing. So let's, let's look at a problem and find out. So here we have a base and a height. So three and four, and notice this is a right triangle because it has a right angle here. They do not always have to be right triangles. This one just happens to be, so the base is three and the height is four, so we multiply those together. Three times four is 12, and then you multiply by half or divide it by two. 12 divided by two, 12 divided by two is six. So we get an area of six square meters. Again, we like to go ahead and put our label on there. Let's try another triangle. 3.9 and 6.4. Notice here, our height here is actually not inside the triangle. It happens sometimes like that. When we have a triangle like this, it's kind of leaning over. We can have a height that's outside the triangle. So 3.9 and 6.4, putting them together. Got to multiply those first. We get 24.96, and then we're going to divide that by 2, and 12.48. So it's 12.48 square feet. All right, let's try the last one. Last one's an area of a trapezoid. Really weird formula here, but it's not actually too difficult. Uh, we have two bases. Notice the base on the bottom and the base on the top are different sizes. Well, we have to account for that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add them together, those two bases. Then we're going to do the divide by two part and then multiply by height. So the height is still the distance between them. We're going to add those together and divide by two, kind of getting an average of our height, of our bases, I'm sorry, average of our bases. So here's our first problem. Five and one-fourth and seven and one-half. The height is six feet. The two bases are five and one-fourth and seven and a half. Now, most of you probably don't want to deal with those fractions, so we'll deal with them as decimals. 5.25 plus 7.5, add them together and divide by two and we get 6.35, that number then gets multiplied by the height, times six, and we get 38.25. So taking the two bases, adding them up, divide by two, and multiply by our height. Always multiplying by our height. So 38.25 meters squared. Now right, let's try another one here. Base here is six and two, so the bases are six and two. Add those together to get eight, divide by two is four, and then we do four times five, which is just 20. So really not too bad, even though the formula looks a little bit worse than what it is. But if we do get six, uh, 20 feet squared. 
All right, that's what I have for you today.